Hello everyone and welcome to this bluegrass guitar lesson. Today I want to show you how to play 9 pound hammer. This is an arrangement I wrote for solo flat picking guitar. If you are excited about this, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for new videos every single week. You can find the tablature for this lesson at my website as well as many other tabs and instructional materials. So grab your guitar and let's get started. First of all we want to put the capo on at the second fret. So we play a G position chord and we are in the key of A. And then we have three pickup notes that measure number zero. So that means that we will start playing on the second beat like this. One, two, three, four, one. first phrase. Again we have three pickup notes and then we have a G chord and we play a G fingering that is very common. It's like an F chord. I'm sure you're familiar with that. If you move that fingering up two frets this is a G chord and we don't even need the middle finger down. I like that we have a nice unison here see that? Okay, so measure number one. Very simple, we have a G and then we slide from 3 to 5 D string. Very simple. Uh, pay attention to your down ups. Down, down, slide, down, up, down, up, down. Right after that we have a I like that double stop. I'm playing a bar on string number two and three and then I hammer on the third the third string and then I slide back. And now this is measure number three and that's a C chord. at my fingering that's the middle finger it's not an index finger and timing goes like one and two and three and that's an offbeat upstroke all right number measure number four we have a C arpeggio then we play a C7, so we need a B flat with the pinky. Very simple measure number four again, arpeggio first, C7, and slide. All right, let's let me play from the very, very top. One, two, three, four, one. the first phrase. Let's move up to the second phrase. Bar number five. Okay, the sec second phrase is a little bit simpler, I think. Bar number five, we have a G chord, and so we play something very similar to bar number one same slide and then we slide back from 3 to 2 and open D because we need to play something over the D chord and back to the G chord so from measure number 5 again down slide down up down slide down, down, hammer on, down, up, down, pull off, down. All right, 
by number seven, measure number seven, we have a G run. All right, so very, very simple. Down, down, up, slide, up. Let's play the second phrase one more time from measure number five, three, four. Right, I think we are ready to move on. So the next phrase starts on measure number eight, second beat, and it goes like this. Let's see what's happening here. Measure number eight, second beat. Uh, I will play the first note, the D note, with my ring finger because we just played the G run. So my middle finger is just played the G note here, so I will need the ring finger. And I go like this. Look at my fingering, you see it's a ring finger. Hammer on, index, ring, and middle finger on the third string, measure number nine. It's kind of a bluesy lick. All right, right after that, just play the nice little triad. This is a G triad root, fifth, third, and we slide, and that's an upstroke by the way. Right, so we have a few double stops here. Right after the, the G triad, we, we go to this double stop, index bar, then the next double stop, string number three and two, third fret, I like to use my pinky and my ring finger and I slide back. So down, slide, down, up. All right, then after that we have a C chord, bar number 11, and we have nice triplet that pull off hammer on down up down pull off pull off C and it sounds like this and this is a little tricky make sure that it is very nice and clean okay Measure number 12, again we are playing the B flat with the pinky just like a C flat, a C7 chord. So that's pretty simple, down, 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 up, down, pull off, down. Okay, I will play the third phrase again. Measure number 8, second beat. One. Okay, and now we're ready to play the very last phrase, measure number thirteen. Measure number 13 is very similar to measure number 5. Uh, 
uh, we play a down slide and then we wait and play an upstroke that's the off beat of the third beat one and two and three and you see that okay that was measure number 13 This is a famous lick for a famous D lick. And again, look at my left hand. I'm doing a down, up, index, middle, ring. And then I move my index and I play a bar on string number four and three. tag measure number 15 very simple so I will play the last phrase one more time three four there you have it nine pound hammer if you enjoyed this bluegrass guitar lesson, please let me know in the comments below and hit the like button. It really helps to support me and my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for new videos every single week. And if you never played this music before, make sure to grab my Flat Picking Guitar 101 video crash course. You can grab it at the link below this video. And if you're serious about learning flat picking guitar, join my community at True Fire Flat Picking Experience. Again, you will find the video below this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week, same flat time, same flat channel.